taste like uh, grilled mochi balls. Live music here. What else you want? Hello everyone, welcome to Peeply Fresh. So today I'm going to see a golden clock tower in uh, north of Thailand. And uh, to see that I'm going to catch a VIP bus uh, to get there. So let's join my VIP bus ride in uh, Thailand. So everyone, welcome to this new video. Came to the Chiang Mai bus station to catch my bus. Quite a lot of uh, tour companies and uh, bus lines. Uh, they got their office inside this building. So you can come here and buy ticket. I didn't buy it from the counter. I bought it online a few days ago. I went to the Green Bus Thailand website and uh, bought it. Um, because uh, I think it's sell quite uh, quickly, you know, like in season. They said 20 minutes before departure time, but uh, I came like half an hour before. So I got enough time for a coffee. There is lots of these uh, cafes and little restaurants here and uh, plenty of like corner shops to buy snacks. There you go, that's our VIP bus to Chiang Rai. Uh, let's get inside and see the VIP. Yeah, this is definitely VIP. Massive wide seat. Lots of leg space. Screen. Looks like they got some uh, drink and some uh, Strawberry cake oh. and some bed bugs. Yeah, feel like VIP. So we are leaving Chiang Mai uh, bus station on time. So I paid uh, 350 baht for this ticket uh, for the VIP one and I think 250 for the normal one. As soon as you leave the city area, it's all so much greenery everywhere and uh, view of the mountains all the time and also this bus is quicker and uh, this will take three and a half hour from Chiang Mai to Chiang Rai and uh, the other one will take more than four so we got a cup holder and uh, this telly is uh, just for display I don't think it's, I don't think that works I think we are halfway there. Uh, managed to sleep a little bit. Time to check out the VIP toilet. It's a toilet map. It's a toilet, very tiny one, but uh, we got a double door so it will not sting the. And also, you got a foot rest there. And, uh, and uh, also a leg rest if you want. I think this chair is a semi sleeper so the chairs will go not completely flat but kind of flat so you can lay down and sleep a little bit. Came to the Chiang Rai bus station uh, so let me get rid of my luggage and uh, then we will go and see this uh, golden clock tower. Left my luggage and uh, didn't get out straight away because it was really hot. Oh, there is a beautiful temple down there. Uh, so I waited till the sun go down so it will be a bit cooler to walk around so let's go to the to the clock tower now only got like a five minutes walk from here so not not far Chiang Rai is really quiet compared to other cities in uh, in Thailand there is this li little bird flying around everywhere it's all over this place I don't know is it normal at sunset time but uh, yeah, wow, right then, I think we got a little bit deviated. Plenty of bars and uh, little restaurants, cafes on the street. Everything is a bit quiet today. See the golden clock tower now. Really beautiful sight. Unfortunately, these cables ruining the view. It's a really busy intersection, so you need to be careful when you standing here. Apparently this clock tower, uh, the same guy who built this clock tower is also constructed the white and blue temple which is like two famous temples in Thailand which is not far from Chiang Rai. So every 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock and 9 o'clock, three times a day, uh, the clock tower, there will be some music and uh, change of colors. I don't know, this is what the 
the restaurant lady told me so I'm just uh, uh, wait here another 10 more minutes it will be nearly 7 so we will see what will happen I have no idea about uh, what exactly going to happen there but uh, yeah something something happening in 10 minutes plenty of people sitting and uh, waiting there and all over the place so yeah it looks like it's a very popular thing here in Chiang Rai definitely something happening because they switched off all the lights around That's it, that's the uh, end of the performance by the clock tower. I don't know if you've seen anything on my camera, uh, the video, so obviously the middle part go up and uh, a lotus flower comes up from the bottom and uh, open up into a, a globe and it rotates and then there is a Thai music. I'm a bit hungry after standing there and watching all the performance by the clock tower, so Going to the night bazaar to eat something. It wasn't that far here, straight away. I'm in front of the night bazaar. I think I'll try this one. It looks like fried sticky rice. Tastes like uh, grilled mochi balls. Very chewy. Only sugary part is the sugar cane one. Yeah, it's alright. It's a nice snack. It tastes very healthy though. Plenty of uh, women clothing and uh, accessories and uh, the shawls, you know, the cashmere, things like that. Sunglasses, souvenir stuff. The display of cut fruits, they are amazing. This uh, night market is next to the Chiang Rai bus station. It's all over this place. It's a massive one. This love uh, kids and uh, women clothing. This is the place you need to come. There is no equal opportunity in this market. You can do shopping here and uh, restaurants around the corner and all the seating area here. Live music here. What else you want? It's nothing else exciting for me to show you here. If you are a shopaholic, come here. Only thing I can show you is beer. So I will go for a beer in that uh, one of the restaurants and I will see you all next time. So yeah, come to Chiang Rai for this uh, bazaar.